So in this session, we are going to discuss about PGA tuning and the short area. So first of all, SQL memory uses. See the memory intensive SQL operators, which are the short base. That is the whenever you are doing the short group by roll up windows and so on. Hash join, bitmap operation, merge and inver inversion. So all these things are done under the PGA. When concept of work area that memory allocated by a memory intensive operator to process its input data right? means uh, whatever the data are there that is you are retrieving uh, from the database file to the database buffer catch here it is given back to the PGA but some of the operation like short base operation and all these things that is done under the your work area that is the your PGA right? performance impact on the memory see optimal so input data fits into the work area that is fine okay this is the optimal performance one pass that is the one uh, perform the one extra pass over the input data and multiple pass that is the perform several extra passes over the input data next automatic pga memory right? dynamically adapts the sql memory allocation based on the pga memory available sql operator needs the system workloads improves the manage manage manageability by using need to set the this parameter point right? underscore area size dba sets memory target pga aggregate target this is the parameters that you need to set up otherwise it is going to be done automatically next improve the performance pga memory is really returned to the os right memory is allocated to the operation to maximize the throughput because whenever you are performing the order by group by find any has join operations are there on that time this pga is basically used and main purpose of this for the maximize the throughput Overall memory utilization is maximized by the dynamically adapting the memory within the workload variation. An operation adapts its memory usage during the execution. Next, configuring the automatic memory PA area. That is the PG aggregate target is the your one parameter. Using this parameter, you can just set up the size of your PGA. So here specify the target aggregate amount of the PGA memory available to the instance fine so it is how it is defining specific the target aggregate amount of pga that is available for the instance can be dynamically modified at the instance level means whenever your database is running on the time you can also change the value of this parameter so that is the example is the this is the bytes 2500 mb 50 gb this is the size you can define default value is 10 mb or the 20 percent size of the your sga this is the default value of the your pg aggregate target which is whichever is the greater i, I think 10 mb or 20 percent of the your sgs size next work area size policy so this is the optional parameter can be dynamically modified at the instance or the session level allows you to uh, fall back the static sql memory management for the particular session fine so this is the optional one very important that is the pga but it is allows you to fall back your st static sql memory management for the particular session Good initial value for the PG aggregate target parameter might be the for the overlap. You can just keep PG aggregate target that is total memory multiplied by 80% of the 20%. So that means this is the value should be set up for the PG aggregate target, which is basically for the OLAP environment. And for the data warehouse environment, you can just set up 50% of this. Fine. So that is the size of this PG aggregate and the PG aggregate uh, uh, that is for the overlap and the dy uh, dynamic support system DSS that's based depends upon the your environment fine. So you can just keep for the overlap OLTP keep 20% OLAP just keep 50% fine. So let's see practically how to tune this PGA here you can see the v v dollar PGA target advice fine. And uh, this is the target advice you need to execute. So this is the target MB catch heat percentage over here and the over uh, overall location count. So here what you can do, you can just execute this statement and here I am executing this. Let me exit. Clear SQL plus I am connecting with the sys as a sysdba and I am just executing this statement. So you will get the advice like this is the space if you keep this much of space you will get this is the issue so here you need to focus more on the estimate overall count if it is greater than zero that means some problem is there fine so if you keep the your pga size that is 17 mb that is going to be create a problem if you keep 34 
also problem because estimate over overall uh, count that is 18 fine if you keep targeted mb 68 okay the catch hit ratio that is going to be 98 okay if it is more than 100 catch hit ratio percentage catch hit percentage that is a hundred percent so this is zero 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 that means that is not an issue but if it is less than zero that means it will create a problem so at least you need to keep the size of the your pg aggregate target that is the your uh, at least 100 mb so you can just check the size show parameter pga aggregate fine so at this moment the size is zero why because we have just set up the automatic memory management and on that you have your size that is defined so show parameter pga fine that is also the zero so here show parameter you can see the memory underscore target so everything is defined under this that is a 396 mb fine and here from here the value uh, memory is going to be allocated to the sg and the pga but what it is recommending that size should be at least 102 mb that is for the catch hit ratio that is the hundred percent is equal to the uh, if it is greater than uh, zero that means some problem is there you will find uh, some issues so you need to at least this is the recommendation is given by this targeted mb so second thing what you can do you can just read in the awr report direct path uh, read and uh, direct path write temp these two parameter you need to focus so this is the my awr report which i have generated for the 22 and 23 so what you can do here is you can just search out for that uh, uh, two things that is one is your direct path read temp and one is your direct temp so what i am doing is i am just searching with the temp keyword yeah so here you can see this is the thing very important foreground weight event class direct path write temp the weight is three so here what it is showing to you so you can just read it out from the here s seconds ms millisecond thousands of seconds only the event in the total wait time greater than or equal to 0, uh, 0.001 are shown fine that is uh, on on this this on this order by wait time descending fine wait descending ideal event descending timeouts values of 0 indicate the value was greater than 0 0.5 values of nulls is truly zero so if you check this thing direct path right temp fine this is writing to the directly to the your temp file that is the weight is three so that is fine but here read is not there so that is not an issue with this but this is the parameter you need to keep in mind whenever you are dealing with the advisor or whenever you are dealing with the pg aggregate size so also the very important thing you can go with this uh, memory advisor and uh, here you can just check the size of the pga so here you can see the pga size is your maximum pga allocated to this and the current pga allocated that this is uh, 98317 kilobytes fine so this is the your pga size at this moment which is allocated so here if you keep uh, if you count this size fine so here if you count this size so 98 317 divided by 1024 so size is that is a 96 mb so that is the enough size uh, that is also recommending the like 100 mb that is from the v dollar uh, pg advice we have received fine so that is the enough size for this we don't have any issues uh, with the size but in case if it is a very low value you can just find those things uh, into the uh, hover uh, from the your v dollar pg advisor and you can just uh, look at the manual size of the pga but here it is a automatic memory management is unable so automatically it will allocate the whatever the memory required to, to pga and the sga fine so here you can also check the memory usage detail from the pga fine so this is the you can see uh, pga memory usage detail optimal execution fine multi uh, multi pass execution over here 1 mb 2 mb 2 mb to 4 mb so this uh, thing is fine so shows the memory usage detail for the pg aggregate target for the 17 mb fine see this is the size which you received here if i am changing to this so see here no issues with that multi pass execution was not there fine so whatever the things we received here the same thing it is showing you over there 102 17 
some overall uh, 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 catch hit percentage that is the 94 here you can see the 100 fine so all these things you can just see it from here the same information it is showing you over here fine for the 1088 if you click on go that is fine no multipass execution fine so in this way you can just check the size of your pga and how much space is allocated and any recommendation is there that is done by the oracle automatically in case if you have set up if you have enabled the automatic memory management fine so this is the very important thing that is the v dollar pg aggregate advice and also in the awr you can just focus on these two things direct path read temp direct path write temp fine so in this session we have discussed about how to do the optimization of tuning of the pga target advice thank you